I wanted to take a look at this. This is something that I've had for a little while. I've had a few injuries and I've been using it for recovery for various things. Oh, that zip. It's a massage gun. Home Edix version. What do we look at first? I've already had this open and I've already been using it for a little while. So we'll have a quick chat about it. There's your different um, things there. Different attachments. Mm. And that's it for that. Yeah, it also comes with a couple of spare little O-rings, which you will see in here. So it comes with different attachments. Um, this one I have taken a gouge out of because it was up against something. It was in, up against the back of my chair as I was trying to wedge it in there to use against my shoulder and actually rubbed a section out and uh, anyway that's that uh, but that one's got a, a semi rigid foam um, ball good for various different areas and this one is uh, I mean one for each uh, hole if you wish This one's not bad for the back and the neck. It's just a rigid plastic. Um, yeah, I use this one quite often actually. Haven't used this one yet, but I'm sure it's for sort of bigger area muscles, maybe a calf muscle or hemi or something like that. And your charger. This is just a sort of generic Chinese charger. 12.6 volt, 0.5 amp, with a standard-ish um, plug on there. And it does have an LED. Goes red when it's charging and uh, green when it's finished. And this one, I'm look, I'm not quite sure, but it. Probably might be made for the butt butt or the uh, JJ, possibly. And here's the gun. As you can tell, it fingerprints very easily because it already has a fingerprint from me touching it. It's kind of a softish feeling, hard plastic. I don't know how to explain it. Just the texture on it so it doesn't actually feel soft but it, when you run your hands on it it's sort of grippy um, yeah kind of a strange plastic you can see how well it marks just from me holding it little switch at the bottom I'll get you a view of that so 12.6 volt 0.5 amp in, uh, 2000 milliamp hour, recyclable, and yeah, you can't use it for more than 15 minutes, even though it's, it says that on there, um, but it actually does cut off, so it self-regulates, um, and it must just get to a certain temperature inside, and then that's it, it switches off, which it doesn't do... Um, it doesn't heat up the outside like you can't actually feel the unit getting hot there's a slight warmth in around the motor here um, but that's about it so maybe it is on a timer instead of a uh, temperature sensor so we'll switch this on blue light comes on annoyingly especially at night time 
And these are very, very bright. Especially at night time if you're trying to relax in bed and use this. Uh, it's quite annoying actually. They should have made these red, I think. Um, so then it doesn't annoy you at night time. Yeah, so once it's turned on, you go to this touch screen here and you can hit plus and it goes through the um, different speeds. So we'll whack a implement in. I'm going to use my, my favourite. And you literally just shove it in the end. Um, and to pull it out it is quite rigid. Oof. The, I'm thinking that it, it does, yeah, you can see the rubber um, sort of deteriorates as you're putting it in and out. I am thinking that it probably could do with a bit of something. Um, I don't have any Vaseline or anything. Oh, you can see the grease coming out of it. Let's see how much I've used it. Interesting. I'm just going to wipe that off. So, I'll have a nice dark mark on my fingers from now on. That's fine. So, you hit your plus in here, and it goes through different speeds. Up to six. Six is your maximum. As you can tell, the unit is quite um, quiet. It is quiet compared to other ones. It does rev up when you put pressure, especially sideways pressure for some reason. It does happen when you push in the end, but when you push sideways on it, for some reason, it revs up to the high torque setting with a very gentle push. So uh, I guess it just detects that you're pushing on it and it revs up. Which it also does do in the softest mode, number one. Almost stalled there. Yeah, so I guess it just goes into sort of standby vibration mode and then into high torque when you when you push on it. It is a cool feature. Definitely. Uh, we'll stick it on an arm here. I do like putting this one into those. Oh, that's miserable in there. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. That nerve that goes through there and whatever. Oh. Oh, that. Yep. That's absolutely miserable in there. And this side is the one I've had surgery on. There, there. Ooh. And uh, there. Although the scar is disappearing on this side quickly. spot there is absolutely miserable oh yep so they are quite good um, this one especially into your sort of forearms and, and neck oh wow you can do a bicep I suppose with it I'll probably use the round ball for this though doesn't quite yeah it's better for uh, sort of bony areas where you need a good um oh yeah wow okay so we'll try the other one oh there's a wall there i suppose it's meant to do that
maybe it's just getting old. Who knows? So put it up on the full setting. And once again, you can just still do the same areas. I just feel that the other one gets into these areas a fair bit better. Although that's doing, that's pretty good in there, actually. Oh, that hurts in there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's miserable through there. And you can do the sort of bony bits. Um, it's probably not like much effect going on in there unless you've got a sore thumb. Which I kind of do, actually. The uh, This one especially. The knuckles. That Oh, there. That, that really stings in that that side there. Maybe it would be good for that. Oh, it's, a, it's definitely... Oh, the, it's quite painful on the side of that knuckle there. Um, it is both sides. I don't know why. It seems to be a raw nerve in that... This is the one that got run over by a tractor. Um, so, yeah... The thumb did get crushed as well. Um, went underneath the back wheel, my wrist and, and thumb. So that was fun. Actually, maybe I should use it for, more for this. It's actually not feeling too bad in there. Yeah, maybe it would fix up a bit of RSI. You can see it sort of jumps around on those hard bits. But I suppose the idea is just to um, increase blood flow and and maybe dull some of those nerves as well. And I've I have had that carpal tunnel surgery. You just can't quite see there anymore. Maybe you can. just because it got crushed under the tractor. There was a crushed nerve in there, so they uh, did the carpal tunnel surgery to uh, relieve that nerve. Yes, yeah, so that's not bad in there for that, actually. It's something that you buy, and you, you tend to forget about these things, and they sit on the shelf for a long time, and, you know... Maybe you should be using them more. I think that's why I decided to do the video. I thought um, I might as well get it out and give it another go. It might actually help with a bit of pain. So, I mean, obviously these things have various uses. And some of these uses might even require something like this. But that's up to you. The only thing I'd recommend is, uh, apparently for the ladies, this one is quite a good one. But you might want to wrap it with something. Glad wrap, probably. Glad wrap would, would do. Wrap it around here and just twist it into a knot. Because I can't imagine this foam would be very easy to clean. It does. It did come with a smaller one. I'm not actually sure where that is. I did have it in the car because I had this in the car for a while. Um, and I had the smaller one and this one with it. So whether it's under the seat somewhere or whatever, I've sold that car now, so who knows. Missing in action, apparently. So I'm not sure how the smaller one would go for those sort of delicate areas. But that's your prerogative to try as you might, even with something like this. Could be quite rough, just going to warn you. Because sticking it, even on the lowest setting, up against a sensitive area, um, <laughs> sensitive area, I don't know, maybe the... Uh, yeah, you can feel on the back of the elbow there. It's, it would be quite rough. So maybe if you're going into one of those sort of 
sensitive areas you may want to put it on it sideways so it's sort of rubbing against it rather than going straight onto it just a uh, a word there for uh, some people that's it the home NX massage gun oh the therapist select plus percussion massager mm. I definitely recommend it for sore bits and even for not so sore bits <laughs>